So we're here with Imagine Kid Homes uh, Director Keith Richardson. Keith, tell us a little bit about what sort of assistance you get when you build a kid home with Imagine. Well, we obviously give you all the plans and um, all the information so that you can build it yourself, but we're, also, we're there for guidance. So if you get stuck, you pick up the phone. The sort of plans that come I'd, out... I'd be calling you like a hundred times a day. That's fine, that's what we're there for. <laughs> if, um, we'd rather you pick up the phone and ask the questions than try and guess. Right. And normally it only takes about two minutes and you're back on track. Surely that must get you into trouble though from a business perspective, spending that much time with every customer. No, they go through a period when they're asking lots of questions and this is the plans that come out for the frames. At first they look like in a different language, but by the time they have spent a couple of days on it, they know what page to go to, they know what it all means, it is very detailed, it gives them all the information. So it's basically like a big Meccano set? Exactly like a big Meccano set, it's got full instructions, full manuals. So I'm terrible at reading instructions even to build like a, a, a little bicycle for my daughter for Christmas, so I, it scares me to think how I'll be reading instructions for an entire house. So how do you assure customers that they're actually capable of doing this, and, and are they really? Building is about following a little set procedure one step at a time. As long as you follow that set procedure, it all works out. So rather than trying to focus on everything, you focus on the next step. So do I need to be able to you know, plaster and drip rock and do framing and do roofing? Do I need to be able to do that stuff myself? You do as much as you possibly can yourself. So what if you can't do, then you get a tradesman to do it. Obviously the more you do, the more you're going to save. It's all about using friends and family that might be in the trades as well. So if I just outsource everything to tradespeople, will I still save money? Yeah, well, because you're dealing direct with each individual tradesman, you're not going to build as much on top. It gives you a lot more control as well. Wow, okay, cool. So literally, even if all I do is use you guys to design the house, outsource all the work to tradespeople, and I just rock up on site basically to deal with the tradespeople, then I'm going to save money just by being the builder basically. Definitely. Cool. And in terms of plans, if I don't want to spend money on an architect or I don't want to pay you guys to do it, is there a way that I can sort of use some already pre-existing plans to save money? We've got lots of standard plans, but we don't charge a premium for doing a custom design. Okay. So, uh, yes, it's a lot quicker if you pick a standard plan, but not much. Okay, so, so in terms of cost, what does it cost me to get my own design? If I want to design something from scratch, my way, what sort of costs are involved in doing that? Most houses are about $2,500. Uh, we price it properly. It comes down to how big the, the house is with the design that you want. Wow, $2,500, that's cheap. I mean, I think the last time I looked at architecturals, it was like $15,000, $20,000 to get an architect to do your house. It normally is, yes. And the key to it is the fact that we're not just letting the architect design the house. We've got the, uh, we bounce the ideas off the engineer, the detailers, and all the different suppliers as well. So when it does actually turn up to site, it works. It can be a problem, can't it? Because I remember my parents building a house when I was younger and they had an architect design all these plans. They got an award-winning architect. I think they spent 15, 20 grand designing the plans. And then when it came to building it, they couldn't afford to build it because the architect had put all this awesome stuff in there that, without sort of considering their budget. That's right. Yeah, and that's the key to it as well, is we're designing to suit the budget, the block of land and the client's requirements. Okay, so in terms of blocks of land, what's, what's, what, what are the sort of things to look out for uh, with what block of land you should buy and how do you save money of picking the right block? It all comes down to location really. As long as you're happy with the location, we can design the house to suit the site. Okay, cool.